Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. Hey there, David from iOS Dev School is here. In this course, I'm going to show you how to build a coffee ordering application using Swift UI and Firebase. Our application is going to support light mode and dark mode and is ready for iOS 13 and up. This is not a beginning level course. You need to have experience with Swift UI and iOS development in general. In this course, we are not going to cover the basics, but we are going to dive straight into the development of the application. Let me demonstrate you the application we are going to build together. Here is the application running on iOS 13.3 and iPhone 11 Pro. At the top, we have two buttons, Logout and Order Basket. Underneath, we get our application name, and then we get category of drinks with uh, some kind of drinks under each category. So we have cold, filtered drinks, and hot drinks. And then you can scroll, and under each category, you can have the drink you want to order. You can select it, and it will open a different view with some details about the specific drink. And then there is a button to add it to our basket. By clicking, it will add to our basket. And you can say OK. And once we return to our main screen, you can click on the basket item here, the button, which will take you to the order basket. And in our order basket, we are going to have a list of all the items we have put in our basket. Let's just add another one. So now we have two items in our basket. I can edit my basket at any moment by deleting uh, items inside, or I can proceed to my order. And in my order area, here I have an option of choosing a payment type. It's cash or credit card, or you can add any other payment method you want. And underneath we have a tip amount. So how many percent you want to leave as a tip? Once you choose, you can see that the price is being updated automatically. And as soon as you are ready with your order, you can just say confirm order. And the order being confirmed, it's going to be saved into Firebase. And the basket is being cleared out. As you can see, if we get back to our basket, there are no more items inside our basket. We can simply swipe it down to dismiss the view there. Once we save our order to Firebase, we are going to create a separate application for the shop. This is the user side application. And we're going to create a shop side application where you are going to see all the orders that you have received, and then you can fulfill each order. Uh, each user is going to be logged in using uh, email and password. And we're going to verify the email uh, by sending a link to the user's email address. And also there will be option to reset the password in case the user has forgotten the password. Uh, let me just log out. And once I log out, if I click on a basket item, it will pop a login screen, but the application is actually detecting if the user is logged in or no. We can log in or we can register with a new user or you can just say forgot password. And once you log in, your application will detect that you are logged in and it will actually display you the full application. Because right now I can uh, view some kind of drink, but I cannot even add it to my basket because I need to be logged in. And again, every time I click add item to my basket, I will be popped up a screen, which is asking me to sign in to the application. So let me just sign in. Click sign in. And this will bring me back to my screen here. And I can click now add item to the basket and this will add my item to my basket. So this is the application. Uh, let me actually demonstrate you how it looks in a light mode. As you can see, everything still nice and beautiful. The functionality hasn't changed. All the text 
and the patterns are nicely designed and everything is working beautifully in white mode and dark mode.